So uh, this is the uh, simulation environment in Centum VP uh, inlet flow. Mm, we will change the inlet flow, and uh, the inlet flow is uh, the value of inlet flow will determine the amount of steam here. The ratio is cons constant, zero point seven. Uh, the fl uh, the output of the ratio control is determining uh, the set point for the um, steam inlet or steam flow to the uh, exchanger. Uh, I will increase the um, inlet uh, material flow of inlet material and see uh, the effect on the uh, um, steam flow. And at the same time. Uh, we have this uh, analyzer controller here. Um, we uh, keep this uh, analyzer controller to be manual, and the output of this uh, analyzer controller is fed into the the ratio control. Uh, we consider 0.9 or 90 percent, and the outlet flow will be um, the 90 uh, percent of the inlet flow. So I increase the uh, increase the uh, inlet flow and see what will happen. I increase it to one hundred, and uh, we will see that what what, uh, what will happen. Uh, you can see that the um, set point for uh, the uh, the set point is uh, changing. The uh, flow control set point is getting. 90 and uh, uh, we are uh, increasing the uh, the flow rate will be will be increased and uh, here our um, uh, pressure of the uh, tower is around 30 the set value is, is should be 40 uh, we can change that and uh, uh, we can see the result here uh, the flow is in, uh, increasing and the level also is increasing. So I changed the uh, uh, flow rate to the previous value and uh, again you can see that the steam flow is decreasing and the, uh, the output flow is uh, decreasing at the same time the uh, mm, the level in the bottom of the color is also uh, decreasing. Uh, we will uh, start start another uh, test. Uh, the next test will be blocking the output of the uh, the output product output. I want to uh, change this product output to manual mode and uh, totally close the. Uh, the output of the um, output product output and you can see that there is a, a square or the score here uh, when the uh, output uh, product output is uh, cl uh, is closing uh, the accumulator level will be increased dramatically and after we reaching to 50 uh, the flow is uh, uh, the reflux flow you can see the reflux flow is uh, in, is increasing uh, in order to maintain the accumulator level. So we have more than 50 here, the reflux is increasing and uh, possibly the level of the uh, column will be uh, increased. You can see that yeah, it's a very dangerous uh, situation. It's a very dangerous because we don't have uh, we don't have any Mm, uh, we don't have any uh, product output. Steam is uh, uh, is uh, lined up to the system, and we just have a circulation. It's very dangerous. And uh, um, let me see if the level is getting close to the max. It's a safety risk, and uh, in normal uh, cases, we should have some. Uh, shutdown valves here and the shutdown valves for steam and the uh, the, uh, the column should be isolated uh, but here we don't have those safety issues and I changed the uh, the output control to the uh, 
to the casket mod in order to um, uh, maintain the uh, normal operation. So it's this is this example is uh, it's not one hundred percent perfect uh, distillation tower. In a real application, we should have safety measures like the uh, SDVs here, SDV here. We need the SDV in outlet and some PCVs here. If pressure is increased, uh, something should be done. Um, or you know, in PSV that uh, that is or that is uh, connected to the filler uh, mechanism. So uh, that's all for this section. And uh, you can see that uh, the the process is getting to the normal condition. The level is decreasing, and the uh, uh, system is getting to the normal operation. Uh, you can see that uh, the, the set point is uh, 63 and the level uh, the uh, the level of the column is uh, decreasing dramatically in order to uh, keep the balance and you can see the um, we are reaching to the set value very quickly here and uh, the level is uh, decreasing here and we are getting close to the normal operation uh, the set value here is uh, 63.